do I get it to uh, jump back? That was a weird jump out. I guess it's just one of those Friday issues. It happens. No big deal. No big deal. Folks, folks, folks. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy, happy Moon Gang Ape Nation Friday. Hello, hello, hello. AMC is trading at 33.77. Jimmy's trading at 153.30. We have an upswing in the SPY. We also have an upswing in IWM. I'm hoping that some excitement in the general market, these major indices that we're paying attention to, hopefully leads to some excitement in both of these stocks that we are mainly watching. Before I get into the Ortex numbers for AMC and Jimmy and all that stuff, I did want to quickly show you that we were talking about this as a dip buy opportunity in Bitcoin. And ever since then at 44.8, I mean, we've shot up to 47. It's looking strong right now. It is looking very, very strong right now. In fact, I forgot. Let me get this up here just in case you're trying to get involved in some crypto. Voyager, it's a phone app for crypto and if you just put in that code mat 21 that'll get you some extra bitcoin but anyway crypto looking very very good uh let me do a quick technical on this one we're seeing strength i honestly think it's coming up to forty-eight thousand in the near term uh, i'm just seeing a lot of strength that shot up it consolidated at a level of resistance it looks like it wants to go up to 48 and then pass that at this level, 47, 48, 49, and then obviously the key psychological level of 50,000. So uh, my next stop is 48. In terms of Ethereum, looking very, very similar. I think this one, let me actually do this really quick. It already had a trend line breakout. I just wanted to just zoom out to show you guys this. I think the next stop might be 3,300. Cardano is just ripping. Uh, we had this flag pull up. Now it has lower highs, higher lows. This is a bullish pendant. I'm looking for a continuation, but I do believe ding, ding, ding. This is an all time high for Cardano, AKA ADA. But uh, I know they have some live contracts. There's some, oops, there's some development like actually going on with it. And obviously it's being well received by the public, but this thing showing an incredible amount of strength. If you're trying to, uh, for Cardano, this is a tough one. I don't know if I could possibly recommend chasing this. I mean, it is it is a bullish pattern. We're seeing strength. I do think there's a continuation, but your risk is probably just too far away. Uh, I'm in Cardano. I'm in all of these. I'm in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Doge. But with this, I think it's very important to just don't chase a runner. I like Cardano, but I also think at some point in the future, you're going to get some sort of break. Uh, so I think that is you're going to get a break from this overall run. So I think you could save yourself some money. But in the short term, I'm still looking for a follow. I'm looking for a follow through on all of these because they're all looking very strong. Even Doge, we're starting to get a, kind of a weird cup and handle, but a cup and handle nonetheless. Look for it to break out of 32.6 and then make a push up to 34. And past that, we have 35. But crypto right now is looking very, very strong. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And maybe closer to the end of the morning stream, we can come back and see what's going on with crypto all right so today there's already been 1.77 million shares borrowed against amc the short interest is 18.08 utilization 89 shares on loan 10476 uh, basically 105 million remember um so when i tweeted this out this morning uh i don't know what was going on but i saw like an abnormal amount of comments that ortex is t2 if you're listening, uh, first of all, I don't know who's saying that, uh, but they are, I guess, getting information out there that is incorrect. In a weird way, you could argue that the estimated short interest is kind of working on a T2 settlement because it's based on the shares on loan and shares on loan. When a short covers, you have T2 settlement and then they return it. But very much the shares on loan and the utilization are accurate i mean every morning these update it is not t2 settlement and these live updates nothing about this is saying like shorts covering or anything like that it's return shares borrowed shares borrow change and after that they're making an estimate but in terms of shares on loan and utilization and the cost to borrow this is not t2 stuff so once again i don't know who's trying to get that information out there i do see that there's depending on how you look at it you could argue that they're estimated short interest is working on a t2 delay i i think that there is a little bit of validity to that argument so like i'm fine with that but in terms of shares on loan cost of our utilization these are very much 
happening real time, accurate, uh, and not on a T2 settlement, just so everyone knows. GameStop has a short interest of 10.59%, shares on loan of 6.88 million, and a utilization of 37%. When things start updating for the day, we will come back to Tiblio. Same thing with uh, any of the unusual options plays here from Benzinga. Uh, we have to just wait for the market to open on that one. Other than this, are we seeing any breaking news? What's going on? If you didn't get to hang out in the stream yesterday or see the update video, just so you know, there was probably, you probably at some point on your radar, people were really trying to push the rhetoric of Bloomberg somehow confirming that there's what, 2.5 billion naked uh, shorts or synthetic shares, phantom shares, counterfeit shares, whatever you want to call them. And it related to AMC trading on the Brazilian market. I highly, highly recommend you check out the update video from yesterday because I discuss it. And basically, I do believe that there's evidence, namely the say technologies vote for shares that shouldn't exist. Um, so I'm not saying that there aren't synthetic counterfeit fandom shares. I'm just saying that the whole Brazilian thing is not indicative of that. And people just didn't know that um, a share is not a share. They trade differently on foreign markets. So there is a difference. And on the Brazilian market, they're not shares. They get basically you clone AMC and they did a six to one parody uh, in what's referred to as BDRs, Brazilian depository receipts. We do it here when we have a Chinese company trading on the American market, they're ADRs, American depository receipts. Uh, the UK has things called CDIs, but it's all just this like cloning mechanism where a different foreign country's company that also trades on that foreign country's market can trade on your market. But, um, it's just like the process and basically the weird representation that they have to do to show that that company is trading on this market, but it's not one and the same. A share is not a share. Um, and like I said, to be very, very clear, do I think that there's evidence um, or very strong, let's say secondary evidence of the numbers just simply not adding up, especially with AMC talking about the say technology things or even looking at all the fail to delivers in AMC and Jimmy? Yeah, I'm right there. I'm just saying that one very particular piece of information that people were going like hog wild about yesterday about this Brazilian thing uh, was just like a misunderstanding. And I... Um, I hope no one's pushing it after this point. It seemed a little silly to me. What else do we have going on here? All right, we need that gamma. Is there any other breaking news? Coinbase is, I guess, in Wall Street today. What else do we have going on? All right, was there any breaking news on this? All right, investor play saying that GameStop is a buy at 100. Why was this? Shares of the company's reopening sectors, including AMC, are trading lower as concern uncertainty for restaurant travel and resort names. Okay, interesting. That came out yesterday. So really no breaking news thus far this morning between AMC and Jimmy, but we are seeing just between the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 is tracked by the ETF IWM. And the reason we pay attention to that is because AMC happens to be one of those 2000 companies tracked in it. And they're not gonna be exactly the same, but I like to think of it of generic headwinds and tailwinds type of a deal. But Russell 2000 pushing, we also see AMC pushing, and also the S&P 500 is showing a little bit of strength as we have about 20 minutes to go until market opens. All right, so that's your quick rundown. Let me see what kind of questions everyone has thus far off camping for the weekend oh shoot i already lost some of these crap off camping for the weekend have a great friday shout out clubfoot billy shiba going live on weeble september 6th uh so i would highly highly recommend you look into crypto trading on weeble or Robinhood because you do not own the coin that is I don't know much about crypto, honestly. Like I have a decent amount of knowledge, but I know one very important thing is whenever you're buying, you wanna legitimately own the coin that you're buying. And when you're buying crypto on Robinhood or Webull, and I've been saying this for so, so long now, it's more of you're buying a fancy IOU that's representative of allegedly the 
price value that you said you wanted to get it at at the time you bought it, but you do not have the coin. Weeble, you don't have the token. Weeble and Robinhood do not function as wallets. You can't transfer it. You can't take it offline. Uh, so I would, you have to be careful with that. Definitely, please, please be careful if you're trying to buy crypto on Robinhood, Weeble. Make sure you're buying them on legitimate exchanges for legitimate wallets. Uh, so for that one, I see that people are excited about, I guess, that sem September thing for the Shiba Weeble thing. But I would... I, I wouldn't get it there. I would get it on a place that I have like the legitimate wallet because I want to actually own it. I don't want to own a fancy IOU. Uh, morning, can you look into the correlation of quarterly futures expirations rollover and run-ups? Yes, uh, moonshots. I could definitely look into that. Off the top of my head, I know that there actually are some correlations with the futures expirations, um, but maybe I could put something kind of cool together to show everyone like the math over this weekend. Breaking news, Tops lost rights to MLB cards and Fanatics get them huge hit to Tops. If my research is correct, Tops part of Mudrick. Interesting. <laughs> Someone said, good morning, Franklin. Franklin was bad this morning. Uh, Franklin was definitely bad this morning. I was walking both Franklin and Baxter. And um, I was walking, walking, and Baxter went in front of me. Franklin was behind me. And then... I was looking back at Franklin. I was like, all right, Franklin, we got to go. And then I look at Bax and say what he's doing. By the time I looked back at Franklin, he had two thirds of a pizza in his mouth, like inverted in his mouth. And I was like, Franklin, what are you doing? So like I ran over. I was like, give me that pizza. So I was like, it started to rain here in Philly this morning. So I'm there wrestling with like a 10 pound dog to get this pizza out of his mouth and he had like the jaw strength of a freaking great white shark and then he starts growling at me so i'm there getting rained on people are watching me wrestle the other dog doesn't know what's going on so i'm trying to pull this pizza out of its mouth and he would not let go so then i tried that thing where you like blowing and his nose and he let go and I got like some of the pizza out of his mouth and then I ended up just ripping it. So now he just, all that he had left in his mouth was his mouth size of pizza. And I got in there and I threw it and it was just a whole debacle. And then I looked up and there was this like kind of crazy lady who just watched it. She was like standing two yards away from me and she just looked at me and it, it would have been hilarious if she just said like, maybe you don't know what you're doing, but obviously I don't think she's a, a Moon Gang member. She just looked at me and she's like, dogs, right? And I was like, you just watch this entire thing as I, like I felt like I was wrestling a lion to get this pizza out of his mouth. What's crazy about it is I don't know where he got the pizza. Like in the seconds that like I was like, explaining it like back and forth, we were just on a sidewalk. It wasn't like he was near guard, like a pizza came out of the ether, uh, almost akin to the way they these hedge funds get all their shares. Like it was just pizza popped up and Franklin had two thirds of a huge, the two thirds of the pizza was two thirds of his body. He is a small dog. It was a sight to be seen. And then there was there me wrestling him about, I don't know, like 160 pounds more. And like he gave me a run for my money. Uh, what do you think about Baby Doge and how fast it reached the almost same holders of Shiba? Um, Shiba, Baby Doge, all of those, uh, I think they are all secondary and tertiary options to Doge itself. I don't see any of those outperforming Doge because Doge already has the critical mass of support. Uh, it's a huge, huge community. I don't see any of those other ones doing better than Doge. All right, we did that. We did that. Shout out, shout out. Shout out, shout out. Hang on, let me just take care of a Discord thing. No. Okay, so AMC showing some strength. Oh, let's map out some technicals. The previous close. Where do we close at? 33.82. Oh, so now we're actually gapping up on the day. All right, drawing. So the thing, 30, what was it? 33.82, 33.82. 
right here. All right, 33.82. This is the red green move. And then obviously we will be watching 35.18 ish for the next one, which is where we saw a little bit of this mess yesterday. So out of the gate, let's watch just north of 35 for that breakout in terms of gme we close at 152.90 so that's actually also gapping up nice i like to see it i like to see it right there so that's the red green move so actually both amc and gme looking to open up the day green we do have about 15 minutes to go but i'm loving the strength in the s p 500 iwm in terms of the overall market before we go into AMC and Jimmy's breakdown. I mean, we were calling out this support level, bounce, bounce, and ended up perfectly bouncing there. Um, that was a good risk to reward setup, and we are seeing the follow through. The first thing I would watch is 442.60. If you happen to be paying attention to this overall market, 442.60, roughly right there. I would watch that follow through. And after that, I'd be looking at a test of the current all time high for the stock market, which is 447.11. And this is for the S&P 500 in terms of IWM. So we did somehow hold this support at 211.50. I want the follow through in a breakout of 213. After 213, I would be watching 215, 30 ish, 40 ish, somewhere, the mid 215s. But uh, this IWM, the small cap sector, which AMC is in, it's only been red days since August 12th. Just down, 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 down. Uh, so hopefully we get a bit of a reversion in here. That would be obviously very nice. In terms of AMC, we know we have this pretty important support at 33.50, kind of uh, maybe 33 flat-ish, but halfway between this range that we've been messing around with. So it looks like it's bouncing off of that, which is awesome in my book. And what we really want to see on an intraday basis for today, midday, and the fall through, I would love to see a breakout of around the mid 36s. I want to get above this trend line that we've been under for quite a while. Uh, the RSI is low. Recently, we saw this spike in the RSI. We saw a bit of bearish divergence. What I mean by bearish divergence is, hang on, what is the, there we go. So from here to here, uh, AMCA went higher, these two vertical lines that I have, but the RSI didn't. So that's a mismatch. Uh, price higher, RSI lower, that is referred to as bearish divergence, and it's commonly a sign of a future consolidation or even a sell-off, and that's exactly what we saw. We saw a perfect sell-off all the way down to the next level of support. Now the RSI, which is one of the most common momentum indicators, is showing that it's it's not technically oversold, but it's very close to oversold. Typically, we have to go right below 30, and it got to 32, but remember, a lot of this, there's it doesn't have to be exactly precise like that. There is a little bit of art and it's not fully science. But anyway, we had this sell off. The RSI is now very low. We're looking for this bounce and a follow through and then hopefully a breakout of this trend line. And I want to get into this major region of resistance. But ever since the late day on August 18th, they've just perfectly walked this down. This was highly systematic selling. If you look at the two hour chart, they just it was some sort of, I would guess, planned, very well executed, methodical sell off, someone just getting out of a position or someone creating a larger short position. But that's always like, this is just a perfect ladder down, down, down. Hopefully they are done with whoever was selling this, whether they were creating a short position or someone getting out of a long position. I don't know what it was, but just someone was selling we want this bounce and we want to see this follow through. And that would be nice just because we have this double top and it might be just setting up for a very nice cup and handle. So here would be the cup with the cup being a little bit, I don't know, a little bit weird shaped. Um, and, but we have this handle. We're looking to break out of this bull flag, a perfect parallel or kind of not parallel. If you had two parallel lines, a perfect channel walk down. Uh, that is going to be referred to as a bull flag. So we're looking for a breakout of that bull flag, which would create the official cup and handle. The third official test would be up here in, uh, let's call it the mid 38th. And we want that breakthrough and hopefully just we crush 42 and get right out of here. 
In terms of GME, right now, we do have some upcoming support at 150. We might not even get there, though, before when I was talking about AMC not being technically oversold yet on the two-hour time frame. GME definitely is. We dip below 30. So I'm hoping enough people view this as just a classic dip-by opportunity of something that its price is a little bit too depressed, so pressed, whatever you want to call it. And we do have some important support right here, not far away. So I would love to see also a bounce and a kind of a return in the value of GME, at least it's price value right here, but it is looking good. Kind of the same thing. Uh, maybe not the exact same thing, but we saw a, a pretty similar, I would call it, I guess, walk sell off over the past two days uh just selling 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 just not to the same degree like there was a little bit of some green in there but remember gme is trading even on a proportionate amount uh it's trading quite a bit less so i'd love to see a bounce right here off of the it being oversold some enthusiasm to come back we break above 164 and then that gives us a run up and a test all the way to 175 that would be a-ok -okay in my book without a doubt let's go back to this crypto i mean heading into the weekend i really think this is going to be strong i really think it's going to be strong so oh i see some of these people are talking about sprt yeah i got an alert that it's gapping up today sprt just so everyone knows i am long on sprt uh we've been talking about it for a bit and it looks like it's following through. I believe it has a short interest of around 69%. I will double check that. SPRT, SPRT. Yes, SPRT currently has a short interest of 70.38%. Uh, so, hey, I hope this is just like a super green Friday. I also have no idea why my camera keeps like going in and out. Uh, I wish I could fix that. I'm sure there's something in the setting I could do. So it's just like not hopping. Like I want it to stay exactly. Something had to get switched over to auto, which is beyond frustrating. I'll have to figure that out in the midday break. All right, good morning. What's going on, Kinky Kong? Good luck with your surgery. Be psyched. I believe also that Kong posting is going into surgery today. So uh, hopefully everyone's thoughts are with them. I don't know if people are looking. Uh, I'm seeing two different ones. Is it Kong strong or is it King Kong? Uh, which one is it? I want to put out whatever the right one is. Turn off autofocus. Yeah. Suddenly, a wild pizza appears. Franklin attacks. That is exactly how it happened. Good morning, Matt. Watching with my seven-year-old. She wants you to know you have great hair. Have a great day. Adventure Joe, that is awesome. Shout out to both you and your seven-year-old. Did you see the Tesla robot on AI Day yesterday? I saw a little bit. I actually saw some memes about it, but I didn't see the full video i need to check that out i was seeing some really really funny memes of joe yeah uh the i robot <laughs> matt now with what is going down in afghanistan the three trill infrastructure bill will most likely not pass will that hurt amc and if another war breaks out um Obviously, with that, that would have more of an overarching impact on our stock market. And as we've seen, if the S&P 500, Russell 2000 are going up or down, this is more of that analogy I've been using of it functioning as headwinds or tailwinds to AMC. I don't think that the infrastructure bill, what's going on in Kabul, people are like, oh, this is directly tied to AMC, but it is directly tied to the market. And obviously, when we see a lot of money flowing into the market or out of the market, recently, that does seem to have some sort of clear impact on the value of AMC stock. So I would say through a secondary manner, it does. But really, you first just have to watch SPY and IWM. Uh, hey, Matt, can't get mad at Franklin. He's just biting and holding. He's learning from us. He's just practicing his diamond balls. <laughs> very, very true. 
he he got that he diamond pawed diamond jawed the uh the pizza he found all right so the story i actually saw though of like obviously the infrastructure bill is important afghanistan is important but uh people were trying to correlate i guess the i don't know let's call it the current fear level of like just a little understanding misunderstanding or just it's unknown it's not even really misunderstanding it's just unknown of what will be going on or not going on with the i guess maybe world shutting down again or not obviously no one wants that to happen but i think the market is starting to get a little on edge trying to understand what our political leaders will decide for any of that but um i don't know i'm remaining optimistic i'm hoping that I don't know, maybe it's naively optimistic. I don't think we're going to go back down to a full on shutdown. I just don't. Um, I, I mean, I guess there's various reasons, but I guess really it might all just boil down to the fact that maybe I'm just being optimistic. But personally, I don't want to go back down to a lockdown. Like just for me, I uh, psychologically obviously did not enjoy it. I understand what, why it happened, I suppose. But um, I don't know. I think there's just... I think it's very different. I think it's quantifiably different than what happened in what, I guess, February or March of last year. So even if we do have some sort of regulations, I don't think it would be to such a degree. But I'm also saying that with no biology expertise, with no what virus expertise, no political expertise. So really, those are just my thoughts. But with it, I guess, I don't know, they don't call me and ask me for my decision. So uh, obviously, we'll be uh, going through all that one together. Tyler, what's going on? Hey, Matt, nice meeting you and your girlfriend last night. How are you feeling today? Tyler, what's going on? Uh, so folks, this is hilarious. Uh, Tyler, who just sent in a super chat, which obviously, thank you. I went to the Patriots Eagles preseason game last night and the Eagles, unfortunately, we got absolutely smoked. Uh, the Patriots uh, won 35 to zero, but it was cool. I got to see Cam Newton and Belichick like that was the side I was sitting on. Uh, but when I was there just getting some libations and I think some like popcorn or something, uh, I ran into a moon gang member and that happened to be Tyler. So it was great to meet you, Tyler. Happy to take a picture with you. Uh, but I hope you had a good night. And I believe you said you're going to a concert today. So I hope the concert is fun. I hope the weather doesn't mess with you at all. Uh, but <laughs> Oh, someone else said, what was this? No more adult content allowed on OnlyFans. Yeah, it said no uh, sexually explicit content anymore. And then even that was creating a lot of jokes of just like, so they're saying no more OnlyFans. Uh, but it looks like they had pressure from the big bank payment processors to kind of get away from that. And I really am curious, like that is what it's for. So I don't understand like what it is as a as a business now. I I don't get it has over 1 trillion in natural lithium for batteries in the ground in China is looking to retrieve it now. So with things like that, um, I don't really say like, I want to shy away talking because with that, like, I, I don't want to, I feel like I'm teetering on a very interesting tightrope. Because for me, this is not a political show. I'm not saying we shouldn't be political. I think everyone should be informed. I want more people to be informed. Pretend that there aren't any 50% of you probably fall on one side of the aisle and aisle. So I don't want to be a fight, but I do think it's still worthwhile to talk about. And I get that people might get some sort of aggregate or what is going on. Is it freezing here? Is everyone freezing? Hang on. Let me double check. Is it just YouTube, 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 YouTube? Well, it says my stream quality is good. Hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. All right. Am I back? Am I back now? Are we back? Are we back? Hello, hello, hello. Testing, 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 one, two, three. Hello, 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 hello. Buffering, 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 buffering. Uh, but I, am I good now? What happened? 
Uh, why is this happening? Stream health. YouTube is not, we are good. We are good, good, good. All right. Ding, ding, ding. The market's open, folks. Pretty weird that it happened right when it did. But let's go to the one minute now that we got all those. Uh, it looked, it's just, what I've learned from this, and I really hope my computer from Artisan is coming super soon. I've learned from this that streaming, live streaming, and Macs do not go together. Um, Macs have products that are very, very good for certain things, but streaming, it, whatever I do, it just does not play well with OBS. It does not play well with Streamlabs. This weekend, I will be attempting restream to see if that works better with a Mac. Uh, but even there, there was nothing. It just like randomly dropped. But the entire time, my Streamlabs was saying it was good. But it got like dropped from everything simultaneously. But all right, we're good now. Hopefully that was like the only hookup of the day. But just so you know, this weekend, uh, I'll be trying to get restream. And really, I'm just trying to get through until the like, Full on high horsepower PC ends up showing up at my doorstep. All right, we are moving now, folks. We are moving, we are grooving, moving and grooving. All right, AMC green right now, trading just below 34. Remember, we're marking out the 35, 20 ish level. Uh, IWM a little bit choppy. SPRT trading at 922. Would love to, for SPRT to rip today. Well, I'd love AMC and GME to also rip today. But thus far, first couple minutes into the day, AMC and GME in the green, the green, green, green. Where is Hood at? Hood, 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 Hood. Where are you? ABC. There we go. Okay, Hood. 45.51. I guess in a way, I'm happy I didn't swing those puts. Uh, they did expire today, but I got out of them yesterday and locked in that gain after the Macy's. Macy's is on the move as well. Is that still crushing it? We were talking about Macy's yesterday. I know a lot of the people. 22.22. That was the, the resistance from yesterday, wasn't it? 22.22. Yep. Perfectly that level. You're looking for the Really, let's just call it 2225. It'll be a little bit easier to remember, but that's the exact breakout you're looking for. There we go. There we go, AMC. AMC is showing us how it's done. There we go. All right, moving and grooving. GME, moving and grooving. Let's go higher and higher. You are live and clear, Captain Tom. Paul Major, what's going on? I love, for whatever reason, now when I hear uh, Captain Tom, I always think of The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, which is a short story, but then I think they made an adaptation with Ben Stiller, uh, which is a good movie. It's a good story, too. Uh, but I really like The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Is it a short story or is it just a book? Whatever it was, I read it in high school, I remember. Krispy Kreme, almost green. Always got to go long on those donuts. Long on the donuts. Shout out, Seth. Me, Kevin uses a Mac. Me, Kevin probably has, like, well, I can't, I was about to make a joke that he probably has a better Mac. I'm legitimately on the newest Mac. Like, I have a MacBook Pro that is a month and a half old, M1 chip. Uh, I wonder if he, he must just use Restream or something else. It must be that the M1 chip doesn't play nicely with Streamlabs. I feel is like my going theory right now. Huh. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, Darcy, my fave movie. It's a great movie. It is a great, great movie. AMC, showing some strength. Just hit, what was this, 34, 35? Macy's making that move, trying to break out. SPRT. Let's see if this could hold nine. What do you think about GRNQ? GRNQ, it is up 106% green pro capital. Uh, the fact that it's gapping up so much tells it had to be some sort of fundamental driver, maybe an acquisition or something like that. Uh, 
being pro capital. I wouldn't chase it. I'm not ever going to chase something gapping up 100%. If you're uploading to three services, you're using the triple the upload bandwidth, find out your upload speed. Uh, Can't I just do that with a speed test? Speed test. Run speed test. My download is currently 12. Internet speed test. And my upload is currently 44, 45, 46. Can we see 46? Ah, 46. Download is 13 and upload is 46. Um, Your internet speed is fine. Your internet connection should be able to handle streaming and HD video. If multiple devices are streaming video at the same time, you may run into some slowdowns. I find that very weird because I am etherneted in right now. Like I'm using ethernet. All right, GRNQ, like I said, I would not touch that. Don't really care about it. It's a gap up. I'm not going to chase a gap up. Uh, Can you look at ET chart, good invest or no? So investment, I would think a little bit longer term. ET, 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 ET. What's going on, Franklin? You're going to come up here and chill? Come on. Come on, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Right. I guess you're not in the jumping mood today. All right, just chill out, man. Uh E T, E T, E T, E T. No, it's just downtrending. Uh it might be a worthwhile trade when it finally reverses trend, but it's showing no signs of trend reversal right now on E T. D N U T. How is Krispy Kreme doing? Krispy Kreme potentially going a second green day. A second green day on Krispy Kreme? Oh, there you go, Franklin. All right, Krispy Kreme showing a bit of strength. Uh, AMC just got smacked off of 34.36, and right now it's at 33.75. Let's see if it can quickly recapture the red-green move here at 33.82. Uh, Jimmy is at 155. All right, what's up with naked NAKD, NAKD? Uh, This is one that I have not liked really at all. Uh, I guess there was some sort of gap up, but really it's just range bound. It's I NAKD, the only reason it showed some strength back here was because it got grouped into all these other stocks that were highly shorted, so people ended up buying it up. But really there was no relation to the meme reddit world uh it's kind of just a bad company if you like look into its fundamentals or anything like it had to get rid of all of its brick and mortar stores like uh i I don't like it i wouldn't put my money into naked in any way i don't want to go long on it i don't want to go short on it i just don't want to mess with it yeah if you're going to three different locations you need to set your bit rate to triple the minimum for 1080 Oh, for 1080, 30, it's 4K, so set it to 12. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, thank you for that. And I'll I'll, I'll say, saw your DMs. Uh, yeah, I'll be trying to set up something with you this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate that. What else do we have? Is Hood showing anything today? Do, do, do. Hood looking weak. Weak, weak, weak. Weekity week, week, week. Um, AMC trying to fight back to recapture the red green move right here at 33.82. It's about what 20 cents right below it. So let's see if there's some strength there. How are the markets looking? SP 500 showing some strength. Looks like it's going to just keep continuing. Macy's showing strength. We got that breakout. I think the next one is in the mid-23s. But remember, Macy's, they crushed their earnings. They had an announcement about Toys R Us. uh, And it is a somewhat shorted stock. I believe the short interest is around 14%. Um, I have no Macy's positions. I know people in the Discord did. I'm ready for it. Oh, Cap Moors. I'm excited to check that out. Um. 
but people making money on Macy's, I'm unfortunately not one of those people, but to everyone who is, congratulations. Solid trade. Market combat. Macy's options currently doubled up. Breakthrough 22.45. Is this a head and shoulders five day on Pfizer? P-F-E. P-F-E. Head and shoulders on the five day. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, not the most, like, I guess maybe it would be more of the head and the shoulder and you're looking for the neck snap around 48, but I would, I don't, uh, to me, this is just a break from an overall bullish movement. Uh, I would be bullish on Pfizer. I have no Pfizer position, but I would be looking for the breakout of 50 and then a continuation and hopefully it gets above 52, but, um, as there's more and more rumblings about this whole booster shot thing, uh, I would argue that that would probably benefit Pfizer because that's more uh, adding to their bottom line. I don't know if I'd be going against Pfizer at the moment, uh, just kind of giving just what's going on right now in the U.S. and in the world. Call internet provider and get the fastest they offer. I have, I pay for, I pay for gigabit. I don't know if I'm getting gigabit, but I pay for gigabit from whoever, like Verizon or something. Bill N message retract, retracted, uh, gaming ADA Cardano is Cardano ripping. Cardano is ripping. I, I mean, actually they're all looking strong. Um, we, I mean, I was calling this out on crypto, which is weird because like I said, I don't really have crypto expertise, but I was like, hey, this looks like a good technical buy. I feel like maybe I don't know about like the fundamentals and the technicals as in the like software technicals of what's going on with crypto, but really you could still do the same technical analysis as in charting and chart breakdown. And I was saying, hey, this looks like a great buy. That's exactly why I've had this up for now the past two days. And thus far, hey, I'm going to pat myself on the back because I usually don't get calls right. So it's nice when I finally do. Who knows? Maybe I'll have to retire my hat as the best Tesla trader on this side of the Mississippi and switch it over to the best crypto trader on this side of the Mississippi. For those of you who don't get that joke, it's a joke because I had some very horrific Tesla trades. That's why it's a joke. I'm making fun of myself. But anyway, this one panned out very nicely and it worked for all crypto. And I think we're going to see a continuation. In terms of charts, I still, I mean, I'm in Cardano. This is putting a smile on my face because I have a good amount of Cardano at $1.46. So I'm up a nice, nice amount on it. But at this, you still shouldn't be chasing a high. Uh, wait for it to take a bit of a breather. Other than that, though, Bitcoin right now is looking good. Look for this breakout of 48,000 and a continuation to 50,000. Ethereum, we're looking for another breakout there. Looks like it wants to run up to this region of 3,300. Doge also looking strong. Uh, so even though I love Cardano right now, if you're like, well, what crypto should I get? I do believe there's other setups as in less risk. Because right now with Cardano, even though it's showing a lot of strength, like what would your risk point be? $220, $2 flat? If you're okay with risking $220, well, have at it. But you are going to be risking $0.40 cents then. Or are you risking $2 and now you're risking $0.60? Sex? Like it's all, ask yourself, what is your risk reward setup? For me, it's actually relatively easy in the fact that I'm just not going to be selling. I'm going to be holding it for years. Uh, so I got it. I'll just sit on it. It's really easy for me. Uh, you're the champ champ. You can do the best Tesla and crypto trader this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> crypto market looking spicy right now. Matic is as well. Matic, 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 Matic. Matic is looking great right now. Matic looks like it wants to break out. Uh, Matic, watch it break out of 155 and just push. I wish on the intraday, I wish AMC's one-minute chart looked like Matic's two-hour chart right now. 
That would be nice. That would be nice. All right, AMC 3360. Macy's taking a breather off of 2260. Pfizer still pushing. How's IWM looking? IWM showing some strength, which is odd. I thought there would be more strength in AMC. Are they shorting it right now? Is that what's happening? They have borrowed 2 million against it. And how much have we traded today? And we've only traded 5 million. So theoretically, if they just sold those 2 million, that would be kind of a pretty reasonable explanation for what we're seeing. What are my thoughts on Microsoft at the moment? MSFT. Uh, well, intraday, it's showing strength. But let me look at the daily chart. It, it, it's another chasing thing. And right now, you're chasing it at a key psychological level of 300. The point to get into Microsoft most recently was all the way back here in early June. Or if you were really aggressive when it broke out of 291. But the most recent I, way I would have entered would have been right here early June. You could have risked 243. You could have gotten in at 254. And since then, it's been running. This is chasing. And I... I, I've seen chasing go bad so many times. So I, I'm not going to say him be like, yeah, you sh should totally chase something. No, you buy on weakness. And when it's ripping, you sit back with a smile on your face. Uh, Jmar SQRT. Wait, what? Hello? Jmar, am I missing something? Is that a joke or did I just not put it in right? What's going on here? SQRT. Uh, not coming up. Matic is here though, right? Polygon, 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 Polygon. Look at this beast. Look at this beast on the move. Oh, SPRT. Sorry, Jamar. SPRT. How's that one looking? Ooh, looking a little spicy itself today. I mean, it gapped up and then it sold. So I was like, ah, maybe we're not going to get that follow through. But people are not forgetting about SPRT. Support.com. That's the one that has like a 70% short interest. Uh, Brought to my attention by the Discord, specifically True Demon. All right, I would love to see AMC bend this back around. Let's get above 3382. It's within striking distance. It's currently trading at 3355. And then GME's at 156.60. Let me double check. Oh, wait. How do I do this? Voyager, Voyager, Voyager. Voyager, Voyager, Voyager. When it comes to training technology, I think you need to follow updates to make quick trades. When it comes to Tesla, you need to follow when Elon releases things and sell every time the day of the release. So that's kind of reminiscent of that, say, like buy the rumor, sell the news type of a deal. Based on the chart, if volume trends upward, the technical level, does the chart support a break above 06 adult industry coin ticker? Uh, I have not heard of that. I'm a toaster. But overall, when you have a breakout, you want it to be confirmed on higher volume because that means the a more sizable portion of the current market participants accepted the breakout level. Uh, I even heard Kenny yelling timber before they smacked down just now. Uh, what do you think about PLTR calls today for 25? Like today's expiration? Uh, I mean, that's a gamble move. If you like gambling, let's see what's going on with it. Uh, showing a bit of weakness right now. I really... The times I do dailies, as in like playing the day, that day's expiration... That's super risky. I understand like that's very, very similar to just going to the casino and playing some random game. So if you're okay with that type of risk, 
have at it. And I know people who do it and make money, but uh, it's a high risk reward setup when you're playing with options. And it's even more higher risk, higher reward when you're playing daily expirations. But I do like Palantir for a long-term investment. I think I have some in my retirement. All right, AMC, there we go. Boom goes the dynamite on AMC. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Sorry, I don't want the dog to eat that. Come on, AMC, going green. Going green with AMC. Going green with AMC. Why does this not work? Trying to check my crypto portfolio, but I don't know my password. What is my password? Oh, I got this. Sometimes I feel like Plaid is having issues specifically with Capital One right now. I don't know if other people are seeing that, having some Plaid connection issues. Does another bank work right now? Plaid, 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 what is going on? Come on, work for me, Plaid. Work for me, Plaid. Nope. Nope, that didn't work. Take my money before the gov does. Shout out my IG, Tommy's Touch. Furniture and like home renovations, pretty cool stuff. Just jumped in ADA. Whoa, mama, by the way, got to teach my wife's boyfriend how to trade. Now that OnlyFans is going PG, it's going to be a good day. What's going on, Jack? Hey, I like it. They try to beat AMC down, but right here, we're seeing a fight back, which uh, obviously I'm a big, big fan of. Uh, Cat Moores, these are absolutely hilarious. I'm definitely going to get them out on Twitter. Definitely going to get these out on Twitter. What is this one? Uh, plaid issues. Other people are having plaid issues. Ugh, such a pain. Such a pain with plaid. Just such a pain. All right. We're watching right now for people who are just listening. AMC saw strength this morning. Then they smacked it down. And right now it's battling at the red green move resistance as in where it closed out yesterday. So let's see how this actually goes. What is my password? There we go. There we go. Stay informed. No, I would rather not. All right. All right, all right. AMC, we're seeing some of them green boom boom candles. Hopefully they get more green and more boom boom. That would be awesome. PLTR taking a little bit of a break right there. Macy's, whoa. Macy's not holding the breakout level. Interesting. Wonder how this one's going to play out today. Wonder how this one's going to play out. All right. It May 25th. We're in August, right? Yeah. I don't I'm just trying to figure out why Plaid is having so many problems. Like I just tried two different accounts and it seems like Plaid is just having really weird problems. Nvidia is moving hard. Hopefully up. I have a lot of Nvidia. All right, Nvidia above 200. I like to see that. How's Roblox doing? Roblox, ooh, Roblox making kind of a move as well. RBLX. I have positions in, well, I'm long on everything you see on the screen right now. Roblox, NVIDIA, GameStop, and AMC. Shout out all the narcissists in here. <laughs> What's going on, <laughs> narcissists? Um, OnlyFans is PG now. Matt, I want a refund. 
it's no fun now. Uh, I'm, but I heard that they're gonna just spin it off and have like a PG version and an R version. Is that is there any truth to that? Someone said that breaking news. My name is not Justin. Shout out to Kelly Ripa. <laughs> um, someone was just saying that it was reported that Pelosi bought Nvidia. Uh, GRNQ halted. Yeah, volatility halt. That makes sense. Sean, SPRT, a buy now or wait for you, Matt. Non-financial advice. Oh, for me. Would I buy now? So I already have a position, but let's take a look at the chart, the bigger time frame. Honestly, if you're okay with risking somewhere between 8 and 750 so if you're okay with risking what? A dollar fifteen, like so, it's just I am seeing a giant cup and handle, uh, and generally on a cup and handle, if you're getting the handle bend around, that's good, which is what we're seeing right now. But just understand, your risk is a little bit wide all the way down at seven fifty. So if you're okay with that risk point, that's a technical buy then. But understand what the risk is. That's how I would look in, at it. I got in back here somewhere in this mess, maybe even earlier, but uh, I have September call options, so I have a good amount of time. But this is what I would be watching, is the cup, and are we finally forming the handle for the breakout at 1070? We got two touches, I wanna see a third touch, and then a rip to basically $12. AMC holding still above the red-green move. Let's keep going. Wanna see it, whatever this high is. I guess 3420 roughly, something like that. On AMC is what I'm watching right now. Roblox pushing, pushing, pushing. Come on, Roblox. Higher, higher, higher. All right, what else do we have? Macy's, like I said, I think it was taking a breather. Might be coming back. IWM. All right. How is Cardano looking? Cardano is still pushing, Matic still pushing, Bitcoin pushing, Doge pushing um, with it. Just so you know, if you're trying to get involved with that, there's a, a lot of good ones out there. A lot of people like Coinbase, a lot of people like Gemini, a lot of people like Uphold, a lot of people like Binance. Um, I like all of those. I'm right here. I'm also talking to you about Voyager. Uh, I think some people use Kraken, some people use, I think Gate.io is another one. Uh, I'm just trying to think of it. Overall though, all those ones I just said are gonna be way better than getting your crypto on Robinhood or Weeble because you don't own the crypto on Robinhood or Weeble. They don't function as wallets. You won't be able to take them offline and that's for the, like I said, not much I know about crypto. I still know it's in incredibly important to truly own the coin that you think you own. Robinhood and Weeble, um, you might be using them for stocks and options, which I still have issues with that. But for crypto, I mean, you don't own it. it. Well, really, on Robinhood and Weeble, you kind of don't own anything ever. You always own these very fancy IOUs. And that's how it works, especially with their margin accounts. So if you care about true ownership, especially in the world of crypto, Robinhood and Weeble is not where you want to be at. What are you doing, Baxter? Matt, if Weeble and Hood are dangerous for owning Doge, can I transfer my current position to Fidelity Pro Trader or what wallets do you like? Um, I don't know much about Fidelity Tro pro trader for crypto. Um, I have Fidelity, but I have that for my like investment account, like my longer term. Uh, I don't have any crypto on that. Right now, I'm pretty much spread between, most of it for me is Coinbase and Voyager. And then I also have stuff on BlockFi and Gemini. Those are the four that I just happen to have crypto on. Um, I've been trying to make a Binance account and it's having a big issue accepting my government ID. I know a lot of people who I really respect within the crypto world are specifically on finance. I have a Kraken account and I have no issues with Kraken. I just haven't funded it. Um, but I don't know about the my Will you be able to transfer Doge to a Fidelity Pro Trader? I don't think you'll be able to do that. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. So if someone has done that, please correct me 
uh, but I don't think you'll be able to. Do you have any suggestions on how to get crypto in New York State? Yes, Gemini. Gemini is the registered crypto exchange that like it is registered in New York. Gemini, that's the one made by the Winklevoss twins, the ones who were in the story with like Facebook and they fought with Mark Zuckerberg. Those two tall, like tall rowers from Harvard, they started Gemini. And I think it's a nice story. You know, you had these like super rich elites and we all felt bad for them because they weren't as rich as elite when they got kind of screwed out of Facebook. But you know, they became even more rich and more elite by finally getting through in the crypto world. And I think it's a nice Cinderella story. Like, you know, it's like you have these two tall strapping white guys who are Olympic level athletes born with this silver spoon in their mouth. And what's it like? We're all bummed for them because they're only multi, multi millionaires, but now they're billionaires. So it's nice. It's nice, you know, coming back around. <laughs> for once, for once, the rich and elite have a winning day. <laughs> but no, Gemini is good. I have money on Gemini. I've used Gemini. I liked it because when I was in New York, I needed a New York account. So I used Gemini. Uh, Matt and Keenan both don't want to mention AMC FTDs. Craig, what are you talking about? The F I've talked about it. The day those were released, I talked about it. Craig, don't be a, a keyboard warrior. Do a bit of do a bit of research. How about that, Craig? How about that, Mister Craig? If that is your real name, IWM showing some strength. I want this breakout to hopefully come back over to AMC. AMC still battling it right here at the red green move of thirty three eighty two. Do you drink that or shake it? Um, my, I use it as like a, you know, when shake weights were big, big shake weights. Uh, that's how I use it. It's how I get my exercise. Everyone's like, but Matt, how did you get so strong that you can bench the bar? Matt, how did you get so strong that you can squat 65 pounds? Matt, how did you get so strong that you could deadlift almost 100 pounds? Folks. It's because I always, I just do shake weight workouts. That's my secret. That's my health secret. Uh, lots of shaking. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Only got 1K of ADA and XRP when I, if I had the chance to get 3K of each. Well, you live and you learn. Hey, who knows? Maybe one day those will both rip for you so much that you're not going to care. Liquid IV. For when, for when you need liquid in your system at three times the rate of hydration. Getting, just drinking normal water, that is so yesterday. If you want to be cool, if you want to be hip, if you want to be able to hang out with your Gen Z kid, don't drink water, drink liquid IV. Don't go from the bland mom and dad that you might be accused of being. We know you're cool. We know you used to listen to hardcore rap hardcore rap hardcore rock back in the day but now times have changed these kids these days they don't have time for normal hydration you gotta get 3x the hydration with liquid iv be the cool mom and dad you know you can be liquid liquid iv look at that they're getting they're getting free sponsorship out of me matt shills for shake weight i would sell so many shake weights for them uh I don't even know if that's still a company, but I would love to be sponsored by Shake Quake. I would just sit here, right here, all day. I would, I would double Shake Quake. I'd be so ripped. I might be able to bench more than the bar one of these days. I hear a lot of rumblings about BlackBerry and limped into a position on yesterday's weakness. Have you heard anything about BB and what's your thoughts? I have not heard anything about BB, but I can do a quick chart breakdown for you. Uh, looks a bit, eh, well, it's at support, 950 is support. If it holds 950, it might turn back around, but if it breaks below 950, I'd be watching nine. I don't know. I'm not really seeing much buying in BlackBerry. I'm just seeing a sell-off. Not really much of a bullish trend going on there. 
How does Gemini use in New York differ from using Coinbase? Any other perks besides access to different currencies? Uh, no, not really. Just like they have different ones. I mean, if you care that like Coinbase is bigger, I guess, maybe if you want like a bigger exchange. But uh, Gemini, I believe, was in New York first uh, and Coinbase followed. So I think a lot of New Yorkers, just the early crypto people in New York could only use Gemini. Gemini. Now Coinbase is there. And yeah, I don't think there's I even think their sign up bonus is the same. I think they're both ten dollars of Bitcoin. Uh, so I, I don't think there's much of a difference. I tr I trust both of them, Coinbase and Gemini. I have money in both of those accounts. I'm on them. Uh, I have more in my Coinbase just because I had that first and then I moved into New York and I couldn't really use that. So then I started a Gemini, but then I moved out of New York. It was a whole thing. I talk about, I guess, missing out on runs of crypto. So we all have those stories of like, oh, how much were you in crypto? Like you own so much and then it ripped, but you like lost it. Ah, I'm definitely one of those people that have those stories. So for a while there in college, uh, I don't know. We all do weird things in college, obviously. And one of the weird things I did in college was we found this gambling website like off sea somewhere and you had to use Bitcoin to gamble. And it was like uh, like a two or a three shoe blackjack. But then we were also coders. So we're like, well, can't we just perfectly create like accounting mechanism and let it trade for us? Like it wasn't digital and we could see the shoe and we just had to monitor it. So basically we would just gamble with blackjack. And I never thought of, at that point, this was back in 2014, 2015 is when we were doing this. So on the weekends, my buddy and I basically from Friday to Sunday, we would just monitor this blackjack algorithm and we were just playing blackjack with Bitcoin at like who knows what website. And we started off at this point, Bitcoin, I remember Bitcoin was somewhere between like two and three hundred dollars. And my buddy and I, from the success of this and also some sports betting. Like I remember we bet a lot on the Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight. There were some other things going on there. But at one point between the two of us, we probably had just over 40 Bitcoin. And what was funny is we were excited for the gain in USD because we didn't think of Bitcoin. We're like, oh, it, like we always just thought Bitcoin, like whatever. That was, we used it as a proxy. We never thought of like, hang on, we should hold our 40 plus Bitcoin or like just an investment. And if I did, I mean, I could retire now, um, which is a huge bummer. And that we ended up, I think we lost some of it. We were trying to double it up to go to Vegas and use all that money on a Vegas trip. So we lost some and then we just cashed out. We're like, oh, okay, like we're done. We'll take this money who now we would have had like what? So much money if we just like kept all of that and just let it sit there even if it just sat in the gambling account imagine having 40 bitcoin right now ah uh, i actually get super frustrated just thinking about it of like how dumb it was but you live and you learn any news on amc no there's it's a low volume day not much news on amc uh the news yesterday in the community was the brazilian thing which was people who don't know about trading on other markets. And then there was news about the CFO, Sean Goodman, selling 44,000 shares, 45,000 shares, uh, but he still has 111,000. And it was all done through a 10B51 filing, which means that it was decided many, many months ago and the date was picked and then the date just came to be because that's like, I guess, the linear nature of time. And the date came around and they did the, the sale. But no, no big news. We've noticed over the past eight weeks, 10 weeks, that Fridays have been kind of boring. Uh, we haven't really had much volume volatility on Fridays. And I think that's just a function of it being summertime. So I'm hoping as we get closer to the end of the month, start of September, I'm hoping things really start to pick back up because 
uh, I want volume. I want volatility. I want to see some crazy moves. And uh, I think the reason we're not getting them right now is just because of summer. Uh, so hopefully we just only have a little bit more to wait. I mean, I would love for the the faucet of volume and volatility to turn back on today if I could. But uh, I think as we get closer to the end of summer, start of Labor Day and all that good stuff, start of the fall into winter, I'm hoping we see a lot more excitement. Uh, people talking about SPRT. SPRT would love to see it above 958. 9.58. Fake news. Uh, the Bagnoff twins prove that time is not linear. Oh. Oh. I guess I'm just a, a linear time show. My bad. My bad. <laughs> what will Super Chat Matt show to us next? First, he's about shake weights. Now he's trying to tell us that time is linear. My bad. I just get, uh, if you guys have seen Loki, the series, I just get paid off by the TVA, uh, the Time Authority people to always pitch the content, the concept that it is linear. The amount of money they give me, they're like, just please tell your stream that time is indeed linear. Don't listen to anyone else. Ortex check, please. You know, just because you asked so nicely, happy to. All right, while this loads, hang on one second. Uh, this is from Unusual Whales. Pelosi has purchased nearly 1.5 million in NVIDIA. She has purchased 50 NVIDIA call options at Strike 100 and expiry 9-16-2022. This is wild. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. They have borrowed 2.2 million against AMC today. Short interest of 18.14%. GME kind of net neutral, 44,000. A short interest of 10.66%. Uh, NVIDIA. Pelosi coming through on NVIDIA. Pushing it higher. Uh, why so deep in the money? No clue. Uh, it sounds like she's just trying to treat it like a stock. Hang on a little, uh, as if like, it's just some, uh, classic investment. I would have to look at what she paid a hundred. Why so deep in the money? Why would she do that? I guess to lessen that risk, but if she knows something, I don't know. But anyway, what is she? She's like the leader of the house, I think, or the Senate. I don't know. I just know Pelosi's important. Uh, she has some fancy schmancy title. She's the leader of the house, right? Am I getting that wrong? I should probably know this. Pelosi. Speaker of the house. Speaker of the... Yeah, so that's the leader. I got that right. The leader is the speaker. She is 5'5", 81 years old, and she was born in Baltimore, Maryland. Born in Baltimore. She is the speaker of the house representing California right now. She's 81 years old. 81 years old. And she went to Notre Dame back in 58. Wow. Notre Dame back in 58. I don't know. Should our political leaders be people who are like from almost like what? Feels like two centuries ago. 81 i had no clue she was of such a ripe age march what are your thoughts on super song thread tracking kenny g's private plane travels and him going to the islands recently with 14 billion weird uh i haven't seen it that sounds fun i'll look into it but i uh don't really uh, i i haven't read that or come across that but i'll check that out all boogie Matt, ZIM crushed earnings on Wednesday this week and plummeted. Can you look at the short interest? It's criminal that they can tank a stock after such good earnings. Uh, if it tanks after earnings, it probably was not a good earnings. Uh, like you might want to check out what's going on. Um, they might have lowered their guidance or something like that because this stock 
has a short interest of 1%. It's not a shorted stock. So ZIM, uh, I don't think something else had to happen in their earnings that you might be missing. Uh, is PayPal a good place to buy and hold crypto? Um, I don't know. I have I have money in PayPal. I've never used PayPal for crypto, though. Uh, so if anyone else has opinions on that, let me know. ZIM. Yeah, Brandon, something bad had to happen with ZIM. Uh, it's not shorted. It had to drop because of something said in the earnings they might have lowered their guidance or i don't know reported so you can beat on revenue and stuff and still drop depending on what else is said um someone just said amc keeps plummeting i would i get it i get that it's emotional but please understand when you're being overly dramatic like that it can scare away some of the newer apes and they'll might actually think that a two percent drop i mean we're down 70 cents Dropping 70 cents, 2% is not plummeting. And I get it, like whatever, you might just be saying it to say it, but understand that maybe there's people who are new to the market that you might be scaring them and be like, wait, hang on, is it plummeting? And like, you might freak some people out. So I get it, it's emotional because there's money involved and whenever sizable money is involved, obviously people, I get it, you have the right to be emotional, but like when you're doing that, understand that maybe there's implications on people who are just trying to learn about what's happening. And if they see your comments that it's plummeting, it's down 60 cents. That's not plummeting. It's it's not plummeting at all. Like, I think it's, I don't know, like this is our red, like we're actually close to going green. We're 60 cents away, 56 cents away. Uh, so let's have a little bit of perspective. A little bit of perspective. Bull flag on Tesla. Let's see what Tesla's up to. Uh, I don't know what time frame. I'm not seeing a bull flag on the three minute. Let's go to the... Maybe we need to go bigger, 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 bigger. Uh, not really a sell-off, and now it's just kind of consolidating. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's maybe something in here, but nothing too obvious. It's not like a pretty pattern, whatever it is going on. All right. What's going on, Rico Dot? Rico Dot's back in the house. GME. What's going on, Franklin? Oh, Franklin. Good posture, buddy. Good posture. Good posture, good posture, good posture. All right, SPRT. Looks like it wants to make another test of 950. We have Macy's down here. How's that one doing? Macy's getting a hard rejection at 2260. Hard rejection. Wow. What else? How is Krispy Kreme doing? Krispy Kreme showing some strength for the second day after, if you look at on the daily chart, it's a kind of more of a sizable sell-off though. There we go. There we go, buddy. All right. Uh, AMC right now at 33. Let's check the Ortex numbers on this one. Let's see what's going on. Let's dive into it. The They borrowed 2.2 million uh, with a lower volume day, how much volume? 11.5 million. So what's that? Like 15, 18% of the volume could be if they wanted to. Very like pure selling in a sense. Uh, that could be a lot of additional shorting on the day on a relative volume basis. Uh, these pictures of Margs will plummet this weekend. Matt's pictures of Margs. Shout out. What are you doing? Uh, Pelosi is probably loading up due to the infrastructure bill going through Congress. The bill supports U.S. chip manufacturers and NVIDIA is the largest. Interesting. Well, we should track that. So it was reported by Unusual Whales today, August 20th. Uh, I'm excited to see if she's just going to make a killing on it 
between now and September. Like what a what a crazy play. AMC's on sale today. I ate my last crayon, so I bought 75 more bananas. Uh, AMC on the daily chart. AMC on the daily chart. Let's check this out. Daily, daily, daily. Um, I I see what you're saying there on the daily. Yeah, so, but with the wedge where we're seeing kind of similar lows at 30 and then these lower highs, yeah, that is usually a bullish reversal. And that's what we're kind of looking for is the reversal on the breakout. Does it have to follow that exact pattern every time? No, but I do admit the we're seeing some signs of a reversal. We just need this actual breakout and a follow through on the breakout. Matt, 70 cents down is a plummet down the Marianas trench into the black hole of death. We should <laughs> or buy more one of those two. What's going on, Nick? Steven eating some crayons. SPRT, man, there's really not much moving today. Spy is going up. How's IWM looking? These are, I mean, that's up 0.6%. That's up 0.6%. So the Russell 2000, S&P 500 are up. Uh, GME is trading at 155. And then right now, AMC is trading at 33. Crypto, Bitcoin looks like it's trying to get its breakout right here. Almost like a, a flipped over the Y-axis cup and handle. Almost like we had the candle and the handle and then the cup. Uh, and then almost a perfect cup and handle in Doge on the two hour chart. Look at this perfect cup, perfect handle. Let's see if Doge breaks out and rips from there. That would be ideal, 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 especially if you happen to have Doge, obviously. Wait. That was, yeah, where's, oh, this is Matic. I, sorry, I thought that this was uh, Ethereum still. But looks like crypto showing some strength. Matt, your Voyager link is an error code. Uh, I'm sorry. This is a 404, which means you've clicked it. Well, that's not good. Huh. How did I mess that one up? Uh, let me double check this. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Let me fix this because that is not good. Oh, 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 okay. I see why. Um, I see why. It's just because of how it's typed. Um, if you look at it in the description of this video, I think it should be all good. But let me fix this up. Yeah, it's just because like the link got all pushed together. But overall, if you use that, that code MAT21, you're fine. But I, sorry, I did type it incorrectly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay. AMC getting hit, getting hit by a pretty sizable amount of shorts, in my personal opinion, right now. 2.2 million when we've traded 12 million. What's that? One six. One out of every six share, shares can actually theoretically be shorted today. Uh, that's kind of crazy. It's just, it's a low volume day. And when you have a low volume day and a high amount of shares that are being borrowed, and then you see the stock taking a hit, uh, it kind of adds up that it might just be them shorting it and taking advantage of the lack of volume.
Hey, Matt, quick question. AMC volume has been seemingly low lately. Is that a bad thing? Keep up the great work. So high volume and low volume is not associated with the stock going up or down. Usually high volume is associated with higher volatility. But in this scenario, when you see lower volume and then there's a proportionate high amount of shares being borrowed, it's easier for them to push the stock down from shorting it. Uh, so it could be bad in that sense, where if we've already traded 100 million today, well, 2 million would kind of be not big at all. So it'd just be 2%. So sometimes you have a relative comparison issue between the shares being borrowed and what you've actually traded that day. Plummeting would be what happened to Sens on the 13th. What are you eating? Uh, that's, oh, yeah, that's the one that lost the, lost the FDA approval. Yeah. This is the one that it went from six all the way to 70 cents. Yeah, that's plummeting. All right, I think I am all up to date. Shout out, shout out. Shout out, shout out. What else do we have? Let's get the spy back up here. Spy is looking strong. Follow through on the spy. IWM, I just want to see it on the daily chart. We're seeing some green there. This might be, um, I mean, IWM has been hit, hit, hit. Honestly, we know that AMC is a member of IWM. Look how bad small cap has been doing. Um, I think AMC is actually showing relative strength to the sell-off that we're seeing in the Russell 2000. What else do we want to take a look at? Is SPRT doing anything yet? SPRT? Is it knocking on the door of a Nate? Knock, <laughs> knocking on the door of a breakout? Right here. Let's watch 955. Come on, SPRT. Do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, there's a lot of Twitter FUD today. Honestly, I feel like it's just a waiting game for retail to get excited again. Other markets, other metrics less relevant. Yeah, I mean, as soon as there's a little bit of red, I mean, there is so much FUD. It's almost like instantaneous. And then on a green day, like all these naysayers, they like disappear back into their like little keyboard warrior like cave. And then, so whenever there's red, they're going to attack. And when it's green, they're like silent. It's just, I would pay them no attention uh, for you. It's just, and what they want is they want other people to engage with them. So if you see it, just know that it's FUD. And I wouldn't engage with them at all. I would just move on. Just like, that's what they want. They want other people to comment. They want to argue. They want, if you agree with them, they're like, they're trying to get people, their likes, their views. A lot of people are spreading FUD. Um, and I, obviously I'm referring to like this negative FUD about overstating what it means when Sean Goldman is selling AMC, overstating various things, people like Rich Greenfield saying the short interest has dried up when we know that's not true. Um, but then we have the other types of FUD where people are putting things out for confirmation bias, such as the Brazilian stock thing that was to me FUD, but on the opposite end of the spectrum where it's getting everyone riled up about these 2.5 mil billion, sorry, billion with a B, uh, synthetic fake counterfeit phantom shares. And they're doing it for likes, views, and not understanding the situation. And then I, I wonder how many of them are actually gonna put out like a correction tweet or a correction video. Um, and I think being so egregiously wrong on either side, they're equivalently damaging to our community. Because here's what happens is the other things are very obvious when you're stock bashing the negative things. Those are so obviously for us because they're going on mainstream media saying this, this and this. And if it's not true, such as what Sorry Charlie was saying about Robin Hood and payment for order flow, that type of stuff, he pumped it up. That's clearly damaging. But on the other side, confirmation bias, this concept of trying to put out things that everyone else like you think they want you to stay and hear and blah, blah, blah. That's bad because you're setting up these expectations and you're getting people like even more frustrated. The Brazilian thing, the uh, responses I saw to it were like, are you kidding me? This is egregious manipulation. This is lying. How is the SEC not looking into it? And then that actually like pisses people off. And it honestly takes away from like what the SEC should actually be looking into the things that are a little bit more verifiable and a little bit more accurate. 
So like I said, I think they're they're both bad and they have they both have different negative impacts on our community when you have FUD on either end of the spectrum. All right, come on, AMC. You got to bounce back. Let's get above 33. Currently trading at 32.97. Let's see if we could hold 33, get above 33.50, then 33.80. Hypothetically, when the stock M Macy's crashes, would you buy puts on the spy or at what levels? Do you tell people your plays in Discord? Gorilla champ. Uh, in my Discord, it's a lot more of just like a free flowing thing. It's not me like giving out like in a trade alert or anything like that. We just talk about, we're like, oh, we think this is a good opportunity. Like we'll dive into whatever is kind of the hot news. Like obviously yesterday we were talking a lot about Brazilian depository receipts. Uh, that was a hot topic, but it's not like the discord isn't there as like a stock alert room. We just kind of hang out in the voice chat and talk about like what's going on on the day um, and see if there's any good trades or anything like that. So it's not like I'm putting it up there. Like I'm buying this at this level. Like I let people know when I buy stuff, I'm like, Hey, I just bought this because of X, Y, and Z. Some people agree with it. Other people tell me I'm wrong and they have their reasons. And then we just discuss it back and forth. But for stock M Macy's, I don't know if Macy's will crash because it's up for a fundamental driver. So I don't know if I inherently agree with Macy's crashing it did super super well in its earnings and then with the toys r us announcement uh i don't know if i would be on board with it crashing when stock m crashes when would you buy puts on spy i don't think wait are you trying to say that macy's coming down will drag the s p 500 with it uh i don't think macy's is a big enough company something like apple crashing could drag the spy with it but macy's i don't think so Hey coach, it looks like the chart on the weekly is very similar to the run up uh 72. I mean, I've I've I'm right there with you. I've been doing so much charting on AMC and we just need that trend line breakout and the break of 42. Um I've recently increased my AMC position even more in anticipation of it. I was like, "All right, let's get in on this dip before the rip." So, I'm I'm right there. I'm just waiting, trying to be as patient as I possibly can. BTCM, a crypto stock play. Cameron, I don't like crypto stock plays. I'd rather just play crypto directly because a crypto stock play, not are you only trying to get the direction of crypto right? Of like, okay, are you going to be right on what Bitcoin is or isn't doing? But on top of that, you have the additional risk of just various business factors of other miners of being in competition as another company comes out and says, we're mining too. That's more competition. So I think it's so much incredibly easier just to play crypto directly. The only crypto stock play I would probably do is Coinbase. And I've done that and I got burned on it and I kind of want to do it again, but something like Riot, Mara, Hut, BTCM, all those other ones, I just, it's, I don't understand the risk. I don't know why I would take that risk when I could just buy crypto. Where's the meat after the mother of all short squeezes? I'll catch a PJ to the US with my fellow UK apes. Shout out, Mad UK. We'll have to decide. Matt, you're like a psychologist calming noobs all day. Yeah, sometimes it feels it like like that but i get it like i don't think anyone's wrong because like you see money you see money going up you see money going down it can very quickly become a very emotional thing um but i think obviously when in doubt zoom out and remember when you got in like right now ask if, if you have a trading plan you're not going to get like shaken out so easily with paper hands what is your plan is are you risking this all the way to zero? Are you using a different risk level? Are you just gonna stay in it till shorts cover? I'm not saying one trading plan is better than the other. I'm just asking you, if you have a trading plan, 
well, I'm asking you to have a trading plan and then stick to your trading plan. Uh, whatever it is, stick to your plan. Identify what is your exit. Are you waiting for a certain price level? Are you waiting for some trend reversal? Are you waiting for all the shorts to cover? Are you waiting for a hedge fund to blow up? What's your exit criteria? Uh, what is your risk? Or how are you doing risk? Is Are you looking at a percentage thing? Are you just willing to risk it all and let it go to like zero? Like you have to have your plan. I'm not here to tell you that your plan is good or bad. I'm just begging you to have an actual trading plan because once you have a plan, no matter what happens in between, you're good because you have a plan. You know exactly what you're going to do in whatever scenario. I am once again asking you to have a trading plan. Uh, hey, Matt, have you seen Helium HNT gains these past few weeks? Crypto backed by a former chancellor of the exchange. Ex Exeter. Oh, I have not. I have, this is the first time. Oh, no, no, no. I have heard about Helium. I didn't know that it had a crazy run, though. Let's check that out. Helium. It is running like crazy. Uh, it just got a breakout too. I mean, I wouldn't chase it. I'm not going to chase it. The R size overextended seems silly to chase. If anything, I'd want it to run up, come down base around, I don't know, maybe somewhere between 16 and $19. Uh, but no way I would chase it. If you got in right here, maybe on this break of 1375, maybe on this break of 1520, congratulations. Maybe this break of 17, there was various times to get into helium, but now is not one of those times. Been in since nine, just waiting for the shorts to cover. I will be here for as long as it takes. Hold on to the moon. What's going on, Brett? The community needs the equivalent of a base den, the top 10 or more leaders to confirm or deny rumors, a trusted site or source to eliminate FUD. Yeah, but I think maybe part of that issue is that there's not a full, I mean, you're saying leaders, but let's just say, okay, so it's some of the people with bigger social media followings. There were people with bigger social media followings, like many people pushing the Brazilian thing yesterday. Um, and as soon as it happened, I was like, I don't think that's right. So with that, I don't think what you're saying, the top 10 people with like social media to confirm or deny, um, I don't know if the top 10 people are, are always in agreement with each other about things. So that, uh, and also when you start doing this like leader thing, then it acts like there's a leader of this. And really this trade is as much of yours as it is mine. Um, I have my own conviction. I have my own DD. You have your own conviction. You have your own DD. We're each putting up our own money and we're each risking our own money. And we're all looking for our own gains as well. Um, it's it's not like a leader thing. There's not some like council or leadership that decides what this, you do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. And sometimes we're going to be on the same page. Other times we might not be on the same page. But this concept of like looking up to someone as like some sort of authority, I don't think it's really good because even me, for example, like if you guys always thought I was a pure authority, like sometimes I get things wrong. Like I'm not unreproachable. Like there, there's problems with it because right now there's not really someone with a large social media filing who identifies as an ape that is also going to be defined as a stock market expert. There's no one that's doing this thing that's like, hey, I have four years of hedge fund, prime broker, SEC experience. I have some legal knowledge. I have some finance knowledge. Here's what's going on. There's not a character like that within the community. Honestly, it's a lot of people who started trading somewhat recently and are doing their best to learn as rapidly as they can and share their experience with all of us and that's what i'm saying even for myself is i've been trading for a little bit longer but i'm gonna make mistakes we make mistakes you learn from your mistake you explain to the community what the mistake was why you made it and you move on no one's expecting everyone to be perfect um but i think that's an issue with like the suggestion there besides like 
We don't really have like this leader figure. And I don't think we should have a leader figure. You hang out and you talk to the people that their style of whatever social media engagement resonates with you and other people not. I mean, there's people who follow me. There's people who don't follow me, whatever. It just is how it is. Does buying options delay the squeeze? Not necessarily. Uh, it can. And it can also speed it up because of a gamma squeeze. So it depends on if you play options properly or not. Playing options improperly can hurt us because like basically apes are losing money, but playing them properly can speed it up through a gamma squeeze, which could lead to a short squeeze. And that's kind of some of the craziness that we saw in early June was like how bloated the options chain was. And some shorts did cover, but it was a minority amount and not um, not like all the shorts, obviously. You were supposed to have potential shout out center. I mean, best experts, so hard to explain things, but leaders is a horrible world. It is something that should be debated out. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I've expressed this and so has Trey, uh, that like, we're not leaders of this. Like we're, it, it's like commentary, like almost the way there's sports commentary. I feel like this is now a new age of just stock commentary. We talk about what's going on and the way you have sports commentators, like who are fans of the teams that they talk about and they support teams and against other teams. I think it's just the way I view what I do. I very much view this as stock market commentary and i focus on amc and gme a lot i'll talk about the s p 500 iwm nvidia roblox sbrt crypto futures options and i'm not telling any i'm very very upfront of the fact that i'm not a lawyer i'm not a financial advisor i beg you to just not blindly follow me um it, it's just commentary You need to start drinking at three every Friday. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Do we see some FUD going on? NVIDIA is still ripping. SPRT. Um, I want that one to break out. Uh, NVDA. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Ooh, it is still on the move. Shout out if you're on NVIDIA. Shout out to Pelosi for pumping NVIDIA. He would look. Uh, you were supposed to have potential. UNH is ripping. Uh, that's the big health insurance play. Who the hell is Gary Gensler? So many fuds. Hey, whenever there's a little bit of red, just mentally prepare for the fact that, yeah, there's going to be more fud. There's going to be people. That's just how it goes. Like they, there's those people who like to watch because they want to be there for like, ha ha, I told you so. And then honestly, when it's ripping, we do the opposite. We're like, no, we told you so. I think that's just the point of, I don't know being a human and when people tell you you're wrong and then you tell them you're wrong and you're both looking to be right like i think that's just i don't know you see it as as a human look buddy i know not to set date expectations but besides the earnings call why was everyone saying august was going to be very bullish did i miss something uh i didn't know that people said that at all if anything, I said August is typically boring. It's not bullish or bearish. It's usually just super boring and sideways trading. Um, that was been, that's was that been my commentary on August. I don't know who is pushing August as being very bullish. I wish it were, but just what I know seasonally about August is there's not a lot of trading going on. Rico dot mods can't control me. That is true, Rico. You are a Mustang of sorts. Uh, someone said BAM predicted all times highs in August. Uh, um, I didn't know about that prediction. I don't know if he made that prediction. If he did make that prediction, there's still time left. He might be right for all I know. Maybe the final trading week in August, maybe this rips. Who knows? 
Happy Friday. Is it a t-shirt in your store saying available? Thanks. Uh, GTA Nation. Yeah, it's three. Uh, it's 354. That shirt is there. Yeah. I think it's there. I know. I know one's designed. I don't know if it's live. I'll have to check that. Uh, I could make it live if it's not. Mod shorting Rico. That's dangerous. Rico is a, like I said, a stallion. Took my profits for NVIDIA and bought them over to AMC. Shout out Sticky 2K. Still appreciate that shirt, my man. Puts on Rico. Buying puts on Rico. It sounds like we have a whole secondary market being formed around Rico. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, I guess people are saying about the BAM predictions. Okay. I mean, we all have... He might be right, for all I know. I mean, the month's not over. He didn't... I don't know if he said when in August, but we still have a whole nother week of trading in August. He might be right. I hope he's right because I want this to go too. I honestly thought this entire storyline would have like already fully played out in February. I thought there was going to be a little bit of a breather and then a rip in February. So once we got past the February thing, that was like my aha moment of not doing these predictions and putting dates and that type of stuff on it. Um, I, I feel like I learned that lesson a while ago, and I think these other people are going to start to learn their lessons too. Of it's silly to call out these dates and these time frames. I mean, it seems like every single month there's someone saying, "Oh, it's going to be this month." Like, er, like the entire time, I, I thought that in February because I've I've never been involved with something that is by definition a black swan event. I was like, "Okay, this will play out relatively quickly. We're good to go." And it didn't. And then after that, I stopped doing it. But February, people were like, no, it's going to be March. No, it's going to be April. No, it's going to be May. No, it's going to be June. No, it's going to be July. Now we have people saying August. And when we get to the end of August, people are going to be like, it's going to be September. And like, it's just how this goes right now. But um, it's just part of it. And with that, I think it's a lot of noise. I think it's very simple in the terms of, okay, is the community still talking about it? Is there still retail excitement in the stock? Are there still a lot of shorts? Okay, yeah, then there's still theoretically a chance for a short squeeze. So I'm in the position myself. That's how I'm playing it. Uh, and for you, you need to decide how you want to play it. But that's 100% my plan. Sticky 2K, GTA, Lord. Uh, the more apes throw money away on options, the longer hedges can drag this out. Holding is free for us, not for them. Failed options equals more money. Yeah, but if you have unfailed options, that's how you get things like early June. So that's what I'm saying is if you play options right, it really helps. If you play it wrong, it does hurt. So it's a, it's a higher risk reward way to actually support the squeeze. Like I said, playing options right can be a big help, but if you play them wrong, it hurts. While holding is just holding, it's more of neutral. If you keep saying it, you'll eventually be right. That would be funny if some creator just did that, like kind of almost as a comedic bit. At the start of every month, they're like, this is the month. And then just every single month they did that, kind of poking fun at themselves. Uh, someone just said Doge slash crypto is pumping. It is. It is, it is, it is. Um, can someone confirm for me that the link is now working that I put pinned to the top of chat? Just if you're trying to get on this crypto rip. Um, remember, don't buy a runner. You want to buy at like more reasonable ones. So like I wouldn't be, I'd be watching Cardano right now. But the thing that particularly interests me is what's going on with Matic, what's going on with Bitcoin, what's going on with Doge. Doge, this is the fall. Doge is a cup and handle right now. Cup, handle, explosion. This is a perfect technical setup. The perfect buy was right here at 32.5 or maybe a little bit less around 32. And hopefully this thing just rips up. I'd be watching 34. I'd be watching 35. Uh, interesting opportunities right now. Link works for me. All right. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Bitcoin breaking out. Shout out M. It's going to be fun this weekend. Do we have a hurricane tech coming in? 
Wait, is that hurricane hitting me? Is that the northeast? Matt, would you help me find out when Ryan should be announcing QT results or how long they have until the SEC starts finding them? I can't find anything on their website. Um, uh, I think the NASDAQ does a prediction. The utter Matt riot. Earnings. Um, when was this? Riot's up 8% today because that, I guess, makes sense. Um, it's predicted to be August 23rd is what I'm seeing from NASDAQ. Can't leave out FTM. Fandom coin has been ripping. I mean, it seems like crypto in general right now is ripping. A lot of ripping in crypto. I hope the enthusiasm comes right back. I'm kind of watching this trend line currently. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a trend break. Hopefully this is a reversal of the selling that we've seen. I uh, would love to see a bounce right now. Looking slow today. Have you gone on a rant yet? No rant. No rant. It is, I don't know. It, it's like kind of rainy and crappy out. And Fridays recently have been like lower volume, lower volatility. So like there's not much good ranting to be done. Well, I'll have to come up with one. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll make Rico a mod and just see what happens. Maybe that'll be our entertainment for the afternoon. That could be a fun way to do it. Set Rico free. I like that, Miguel. I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. If Ethereum can get over 3,300, that'd be a big breakout. I agree. Wish, uh, I'd be more bullish right now and wish in a like little swing trade just because I think its earnings weren't good, but I think it got absolutely decimated. I miss Buff 24-7, don't we all? At Ram Friday. But it does seem like it's going to start storming. I'm worried about the storm taking out my power and hence my internet. Let me actually see what's going on with the weather. The weather, the weather, the weather. Yeah, it's about, well, it's raining now and Philly's going to get more of a storm. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right. Looks like SPRT is moving again. I just got an alert. An alert, alert. There we go. SPRT might be moving, grooving. Come on, SPRT. SPRT. Rico is free. Rico is free right now. It's just, I think it might be fun to give him power and just see what happens. I'm an independent adjuster from florida they're calling me to go north yeah it looks like we have some weather coming in so i don't know i'm hoping that at least what i need my internet to stay strong until 4 p.m uh matt you should explain about a calendar spread option this afternoon okay yeah if you guys want me to talk about calendar spreads i love calendar spreads um there's various ways to do it but I could go over kind of like the thoughts and all that good stuff. SBRT. Uh, we're kind of watching, what's it? 1070 is where the 1070 would be the kind of the cup and handle being fully fleshed out. The weather is shorting, Matt. Free Rico Fridays. Uh... Maybe maybe if my internet goes out, hopefully there's still power at AMC theaters and I'll just post up there for the weekend. I'll be like, sir, you can't stay here. I'll be like, but I own shares in this company. I own equity. And I will transfer my equity to this, this little region in this theater right now. <laughs> you see these shares? These are my shares. These are the Matt chairs. 
Someone just said, RIP hood, is hood falling? Oh, why did I not hold it more? Well, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. All I can say is I told everyone to be careful about it because I thought it was crap. Crap, crap, crap. And now it's fallen, fallen, fallen. Free fallen. Unusual whales just posted an alert, AMC alert on Twitter. Unusual whales, unusual whales. What did he post? Microsoft, AMC. Uh, something about March 18, $35 puts for 2022. It looks very far out. A lot of money on that. Interesting. Very far out. I don't know if that one's going to have an impact us in the short term. Very far out. But SPRT is gearing up. I wonder if we'll get a follow through on that one. All right, what else do we have? Any other breaking news? Pelosi, we know about that. Robin Hood, cratering, cratering, cratering. That's why I said, bearish, bearish, bearish. Bearish, bearish, bearish. All right. Oh, if you haven't already, I would appreciate if you could drop a like as we're coming into uh, the conclusion of the morning stream. Uh, that just helps me out with that type of algorithm stuff. If you haven't already, if you want to be a member, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. Completely free. If you want to be a Moon Gang member, whether you're watching on, what is it? YouTube, Rumble, and or Twitch. Well, I guess on that, that's following. But yeah, you know, uh, basically the same thing there. Where do I think the bottom is? Uh, so AMC, we know, has an incredible amount of support between 30 and 34. So it could honestly bounce at any of these levels, but that's a good, good region. And I think there's another individual support at like 28 something. But overall, there's a lot of scattered support levels between 30 and 34. Uh, 30 to 32 is interesting. 33 50 is an interesting one. But basically, it's just easiest to think of it between 30 and 34. I'll be mandated to work storm duty. Storm duty. Timothy, my stonky senses are telling me FLGC is a buy. That's Timothy. Cardano is rolling out smart contracts in September. That's why it's ripping. Yeah, early September, mid-September. I mean, I've been in Cardano for a bit now. Well, I know there's people who got into it way before me. My only issue with Cardano is I wish I bought more. Maybe that's what I should do this weekend. Make a Cardano video explaining what's going on, why it's ripping, 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 and also talk about the smart contracts. Maybe I'll do some like crypto knowledge this weekend just because the markets are closed. But the crypto markets aren't September 12th. So in less, a little less than a month, I smashed the like button for Riley Reed in Texas Roadhouse. That's hilarious. Thoughts on G-O-V-X, G-O-V-X, G-O-V-X. Let's look at the daily. Oh, no, ugly, 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 ugly. Gap up red, don't like it. If I had to do anything, I'd probably bet against it. What is this? It's another lag, lab. It's a biopharma play. It trades sideways, gaps up. Ugh. Ugly, 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 super tough trade. I wouldn't mess with it. Uh, do you think ADA will drop back to a dollar? Uh, if there's a mega crypto sell off the entire sector, maybe, but I think the odds of Cardano going back to a dollar is probably pretty low. But anything's possible.
take a look at AMC and Doge. It looks like when they go up, AMC falls. Uh, I don't know if that is a true correlation. No, I don't see any correlation uh, like that. I don't think there's much of a, like, I mean, I'm just looking at the daily chart here. April. If anything, they seem to be a little, like, actually kind of moving together for quite a while. Um, they look more similar to me than they look different, and they definitely don't look inverse to me. But that's my two cents on it. I don't think there's much of a any inverse or direct correlation between Doge and AMC. <laughs> Our leverage. Dude, you got to chill out. You got to chill out. Shout out to the mods. Always crushing it. I appreciate every single one of you. Looks like SPRT is looking strong. Macy's oddly giving back quite a bit of its gains, but hang on. Now it's swinging back around. Macy's might be doing stuff. NVIDIA up probably on the Pelosi news. Um, she might know something that we don't know. And so NVIDIA looking good. SPRT looking good. SPRT, watch 10, watch 1070, watch 11, watch 1180. Those would be the next levels. Right now, AMC is at 3247, GME is at 154. I was trying to say I will be working remotely, answering storm calls, Long Island Power Authority. Wish New York luck. I work part-time by choice now. Creators, shout out. You think they will drive it down to 25 today? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. I think it'll get too oversold before then. And people is, like algorithms will kick in and buy it back up uh, when it gets that oversold. But obviously anything's possible. I just don't think it, 25 is that likely. It's all, I guess, a game of probabilities. And I think that's a very low probability. Okay. Folks, overall, uh, that's what I have for you. This is the morning session. Uh, it's just a little bit past 11. I'm planning, as long as my internet and power are all good, I will be back at 2 p.m. and then we'll do it in a close. Uh, some people were asking about if I could teach about calendar spreads. We could set that up for the afternoon for sure. But thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Happy Friday. I'll see all of you in a couple hours.